Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Jordan Levitt versus Victor Martinez and the highest one right here is I'm going to average confidence Jordan Levitt to beat Victor Martinez. I only see what the, um, love is with Martinez and in this one, what's well, only, only a small dog is Levitt at this given moment. Of the time of this prediction, he's only a small dog. But um, I don't see why he's a dog. When I look at Victor Martinez, I feel like he's undersized. He's probably really too fighting at 145, 135. Not like Levitt is the biggest lightweight either, but Martinez looks significantly smaller. And I also watched his last fight. He definitely has been caught in a lot of bad positions against guys that don't even have the grappling skills, even a quarter or 15% of what Levitt's grappling is. Definitely he got the better hands for sure. But I don't think his takedown defense is all that great. But then again, Levitt's offensive takedowns ain't all that great. But then again, Levitt has been in with better competition, even with his limited striking and awkward grappling and awkward style in general. He hasn't really took too much damage, to be honest. So, hey, it's one of those cases where, you know, oh, even like Ben Askren, his takedown, well, Ben Askren is a solid wrestler. But anyway, I'm just saying, like, these grapplers that, like, almost like, how's your striking that poor, but somehow they get by on it? They be fighting the, the deadliest striker in the world, spend a whole, pretty much three rounds, three, um, Three minutes of a round on, on the feet with them, sh striking with them. But their striking was so terrible and patchy, but they get by with them. I guess it's the threat of grappling. And that's going to be here, too. And Martinez ain't no super stutter, ain't he? I don't feel like he's all that well around. I feel like his grappling's pretty, have clear holes in it. But hey, it'd be interesting, I guess. But I feel like with Levin, once he gets on the ground, he, he gets presented with those same positions. I feel like he puts Martinez away. And I'm going to say second round sub, Jordan Levin. I feel like on the feet, it's probably be dicey a bit. Levin just. Narrowly escaping some of these combinations. But also in the same sense when Martinez trying to crowd the space line, clean combinations, probably gonna overextend, probably come off balance a bit, and Martinez and Levitt's gonna be that take advantage of that, get him down to the mat, wear on him, drain him out for the first round, second round, take them probably come a little bit easier, and then I see Levitt like being able to latch onto him, drag him down, take his back. Well Martinez probably gonna turn to his back, poor like you know, lack of you know, lack of skills in the BJJ department, lack of um, BJJ IQ. Probably going to try to explode and it's going to end up giving his back up and Levitt's going to sink in a rear neck choke second round. So in this one, I got Jordan Levitt via second round submission. 